Okay guys, I'm gonna be making a shrimp scampi with a difference. So this is not going to be a traditional sh shrimp scampi because I am making some adjustments to it. So here I have some shrimp. This is actually cooked shrimp already. I have some bell peppers, both red and green. I have some um, ginger garlic paste in here. And I am cutting up some seasoning peppers as well to go into this. Um, I'm going to be putting some other seasoning in it as well. So let me get to cutting up this seasoning peppers. I could continue adding it to it. So right now I have my um, water boiling to cook my pasta. All right, so we have our pasta cooking here. This is gluten-free pasta. Okay, so I'm just gonna like cut the seasoning pepper. I'm gonna just show you quickly how I'm doing it. All right, so I just take all the seeds and then I just turn it over. I'm just gonna cut it down like this, all right? So I'll probably even cut it a little smaller, like that. So like I said, this is not a traditional way of making shrimp scampi. I do have a video on my channel showing you how to do the traditional shrimp scampi, but I always like to change up things. You know, there's one way of doing things, which everybody knows, which we call the conventional way, but there's nothing wrong in, you know, um, adapting and making changes to that. So that's what I'm doing here. So it's more like a, a pepper, shrimp scampi that I'm doing because as you can see I have different types of peppers I'm using both bell peppers and seasoning peppers all right so let me get to cutting up this and I'll be back. all right so I'm just going to mix this together now what I'm going to do is add some sea salt to this I'm going to add about one teaspoon of sea salt okay And I'm gonna add the seasoning blend here. This is a garlic lovers seasoning blend. What does it have in it? It has garlic, onion, sea salt, California chili pepper, basil leaves, black pepper, coriander, parsley flakes, and thyme leaves. So I'm gonna add this to it as well. mix everything together all right so you know what to add a little spice to this I'm gonna add some red pepper flakes all right so traditionally at the end of making a shrimp um, scampi when you add your pasta you'll use parsley I don't have parsley but what I'm going to be using to top my own is with sweet basil from my garden okay guys so this is my sweet basil patch so I'm just going to pick some of these leaves and I want to chip up so I can add to my shrimp scampi at the end okay so we're going to add some olive oil here to our pot so the olive oil is going to act as a gravy, so to speak. We're going to add some, I'm using ghee. You can add butter. Might look like a lot, but when you add the pasta, the pasta is going to soak up this. All right, so remember guys, I said this is a shrimp scampi with a difference. So I am going to be adding some um, onion to mine and this green thing that you see here, this green thing that you see here is actually young black eyed peas. So, so I went to my garden and I noticed I had some young black eyed peas um, on my vines. I picked it and I'm adding it to it as well. And that's why I said this is a shrimp scampi with a difference. Because as you can see, I'm doing my own thing. <laughs> I'm going to add a touch more of my ginger garlic paste to this as well. 
add it to the oil here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some um, pink Himalayan salt to my onions. All right, so let's um, add in our shrimp and peppers now. Now remember, this is not raw shrimp. If you were doing raw shrimp, well, you will complete, cook it completely. I just want to make sure that my shrimp warms through. Okay, guys, I think my shrimp has warmed through. So now I'm going to add my pasta, my cooked pasta to this. Break up the pasta. I had it draining. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice to this as well. Not too much because my family doesn't like too, the taste of lemon so much. So I'm just going to add just a little touch. But as you can see, guys, by adding the peppers, you get a nice, colorful dish. And actually, these are peppers from my garden. So I actually wanted to use up the peppers, and that's why I decided, let me do a non-traditional shrimp scampi by adding the peppers to it. So you can always do that. If you have vegetables that you have in the fridge and you want to use it up, incorporate it into a, a traditional dish. And you know, you can make your own, have your own twist it or your own take to it. And just add a little bit of the lemon. Okay. Of course, you can add parsley. In my case, I'm adding sweet basil. 